Hello YouTube! Today I am going to show you how to make a vine farm. Yes, a vine farm. The most useful farm in all of Minecraft. Totally. There is no farm more useful than the vine farm. Everyone needs to have one of these. Everyone. If you don't have one of these, make one because you need one. Because these are so useful because you can, uh, you can, uh, uh, you can, uh, climb them, so, and they grow, so you only gotta place one at the top, and then basically you just got a ladder that'll grow down, and, uh, you can, uh, you can make moss, mossy cobblestone, yeah, yeah, you can make that, most really useful block, and, uh, it's useful, <laughs> you have to make one. Because I said so. Now let's get on with showing how it works. So, the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's fully AFK vine farm, so you can sit here AFK for uh, as long as you want. Or well, until all your shears break, at least. Which I don't think I actually built this one with other shears. Let me, let me grab some real quick. Let me just do that really quickly, so. Dude. Here. So yeah. So yeah, it's fully AFK. You would sit in here, go back and forth. It would keep handing you shears. It does it twice though? And I could make it only do it once, but uh, I want this thing to come back, and I, I felt. I mean, it, do it twice wasn't really. It was a fair compromise for making this thing a lot more compact. So, I want to fit. So, okay. so, of course, you're gonna need to be in survival mode for this. Before we do that, we're going to want to fill our inventory up with vines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a single vine in every single spot of our inventory. And then then of course we're gonna need to be in a game mode zero, which is survival mode. <laughs> so what you do is you would just go back and forth like this. And what'll end up happening is when you get to the shears, shears will come out and uh, don't mind when that happens. That does happen every once in a while. It will get put in on the way back. You can see, it, it happens actually kind of often, but not that big of a deal. What happens is you can't pick up any of the shears, so what happens is it just goes right back into the system. And what you can do basically is just hold down your left click, or like have a, a weight or something holding key, like to uh, the mine and that. And then you can just sit here forever. AFK. Your vines. I'm not sure if vines actually grow that fast. My random tick speed might be up a little bit, so this vine growth probably is a little sped up, but yeah, you would just sit here. You can't mine it. As long as you use strong enough blocks, you should be able to mine them and then, yeah. You could also, you don't have to put vines in your entire inventory, but it's just recommended you do, because you could just put cobble, like, filling the rest, or dirt, or whatever item you have so much of that you can fill an inventory with. Uh, and then, like, have a few vines. You need to at least have a few vines, but if those few vine stacks are full, the more, when you mine the vines, they'll just sit on the ground and be spot, so... If you have your full inventory of vines, then you can get a full inventory of vines minus that one spot for the shoes. So, yeah, that's how that works. Keep sending you back and forth, and then when you're done, you just jump out. And then when you want to do it again, just jump in the middle, and it will start you up. And make sure you don't, uh, like, go in, like, right here. Like, if I go in here, and, uh, push you inwards, you gotta kind of fight it, so don't do that. Yeah. Shears back. So, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna give you a quick glance at all the redstone, and yeah. It's literally that simple. But I will give you a tutorial anyways, because why not? So, yeah. I'll be back with the tutorial in a minute. Okay, to build this, you're gonna need a ton of blocks of your choice, four tripwire hooks, two pieces of string. Uh, recommended you have six binds, but you could get this started with only one. Uh, two dispensers, one dropper, one hopper, 12 redstone dust, and an observer. So let's get on with the build right now. And first we're going to want to start with like making the water channel. Let me actually remember how big this gets to be. Uh, eight blocks. So <laughs> we did it perfect. Okay. You want to make an eight block water channel and then put your two dispensers at the very end. Now over here you're going to want to put in your dropper and then your hopper facing into the dropper. Then right over here you're going to want to put your uh, observer facing down so we're going to have to do it like this. And uh, make sure that it's facing into a block. Now what we're going to want to do is let's do this for some cleaning up here. Now we're going to want to build up right behind these areas right here. And we're going to put our bar hooks right on these and then grab our string and connect them up like so. Now what we want to do is we want to connect the redstone in the back. So put two redstone dust there, put a bunch of blocks. And then we'll put two more redstone dust, and then we'll connect these two lines together like that. And then we're going to want to put in the vines right here. So you can the vines like that. And then all we got to do is put in one water bucket into one of them. And then the other side, place down the water. Since in creative mode, it doesn't actually turn into a bucket. But you'd want to place down the water and then put a bucket, the uh, empty bucket in that one. And it should be done, I believe. I believe that's everything. <laughs> Let me just check over, make sure that's everything. Yeah, this is basically the standard, and then of course I just decorated it a bit to make it look nice. But this is the simplest form you can have it in, and it should work. Bringing me back. Okay. Of course, you're actually gonna want to shears. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Grab your shears. Right. In here first. Put those in there. More in there. And then we'll come over to here. It'll give us some more. And over here. It Going back and forth, and we continuously mine. And then, I guess I'll show you how I decorated it, because why not? So, if you want to decorate it, just get some uh, uh, iron and quartz, and you just make all these areas go up three blocks high, like so, and then put slabs on top of all of these. Not like that. Not like that either. And uh, hope the vines don't grow so quickly. <laughs> eh. Blocks up like this. Put these slabs up around like that. And these ones down on the bottom there. And that's how I made it look. Also, I grabbed a few buttons because I blew. I'm not sure, but I think vines can grow to the left or right. I could be completely wrong. Whoops. That. And yeah, that's kind of how I do the vine. Yep. So. I feel like I'm missing something. How do I feel like I'm missing something? Uh. Oh. I didn't do the floor. There. If you 
you want a nice floor, you can do that. <laughs> but, yep, this is a fully working, fully automatic vine farm. You can get AFK, do that. Sadly, it's not fully automatic. I think I just said fully automatic, but it's, it's not fully automatic. It's, uh, it's an automatic farm, but you need to be AFK using it, so... You can't have do it. It it won't be work running while you're uh, off doing something else. Sadly, now if someone can make a farm like that. That would actually be pretty sweet. It would probably have to. I'm not sure if the wither would actually make the vines drop. The wither might actually just destroy the vines entirely. So I'm not really sure if it's possible to make a 100% fully automatic farm. But if the wither was able to actually destroy uh, vines, all you'd have to do is probably just make some vines. So it just grow down, and as soon as it grows down, it's in the wither's range to destroy it. And it'll just destroy it, and then it'll drop it to a hopper. And you, you, if that does work, let me know, because I'm actually, I'm actually really curious. But I'm not really sure how to trap a wither in place, so yeah. I'm not going to really try that because I feel like it'll just blow up everything. <laughs> I'd probably have to back up this world before trying a wither or just do it in a completely different world. Actually, the different world sounds like a way better idea <laughs> than seeing all my redstone stuff getting destroyed. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I think I've been uh, talking a little bit too long, so... I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and yeah, hope you enjoyed, and bye!